Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we are looking at KF94s. They come in a bag and they're rubber banded together. Kind of weird, but kind of cool, and I'm going to show you why. Let's get it in the clamper first. So most KF94s are sealed individually, which I just love. Like, it's just so cool. Just the Koreans are just really, really great at packaging. This in here. And let's go into the clamp machine. But you know, uh, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. The point of this machine is to test to the N95, the NIOSH standard. Uh, the KF94 standard, um, I haven't been able to read or get a hold of. So if you have an English version of it, I'd love to read it. Uh, but the 94 and KF94 is meant to be 94% filtration. Um, something I am noticing right away on this mask that's interesting, I'm just gonna show the screen, is the filtration efficiency is actually, it's probably climbed a little bit, but it started kind of low. And the airflow resistance is insane. It's really, really hard to breathe through. Uh, our sort of like, uh, I don't know what the uh, KF94 standard is, uh, but uh, N95 needs to be under 250 pascals, but really you wanna see under 150 pascals, and that's more than double it. I'm gonna go ahead and try on the mask and see how it actually feels on the face. It actually smells strongly of ammonium, but not so strongly that I have to take off the mask. And actually, you can hear how muffled my voice is. Um, and when I breathe in and out, I do actually feel like this airflow resistance is correct. Like, this is not a very breathable mask. And this is the second one that I tested because I wasn't sure if this was correct. Um, now, you can see the efficiency 99%, but, I mean, you know, if you put a couple of really thick pieces of paper in front of your face... You're not going to be able to breathe through it. It'll probably test at 100%. But if you can't breathe through it, what good is it going to do? Air will find a way. Life finds a way. That life uh, finds a way. Because of that, I'm probably not going to recommend this. I don't know what the KF94 standard is for uh, uh, airflow resistance, for breathability. If you know, please put it in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to learn. This is all made in uh, South Korea. And I've never heard of this brand before, Nibi. Um, but there are so many good KF94 brands. Maybe I'd just choose another one. Or if you are Nibi, because fun fact, uh, something like four or five of the KF94 uh, reviews that I've done, the manufacturers actually reached out to me after they saw their, the YouTube video and they asked if they could use the video. And so it seems like the, the South Korean manufacturers are, really care about their brands. So if you are from Nibi, Maybe you got a bad batch or something, like reach out to me. Um, I'd love to test uh, another batch of these. But without retesting, um, I wouldn't recommend these right now at this time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. If this was helpful, if you're thinking about buying this mask and you're now maybe passing going on to another mask, um, you know, give me a like or subscribe. I would appreciate it very much, and I will catch you on the next test.